what's up guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another fitness video now you guys really enjoyed the last video i did on how i've gotten the hourglass figure training my body parts or building muscle in certain areas to give me those curves to give me that shape the last video i did was back so if you have not seen that video i'll link it down below i thought i would make a part two and this time focusing on lower body, specifically quads and glutes. So I'm just gonna be taking you through a quad and glute day and kind of show you what that day looks like for me. You currently have a torn meniscus. I will eventually have to have surgery, so I can only do so much when it comes to quads. Obviously working my quads is the only thing that really bothers me right now. Like I can do glutes and hammies all day. I'm gonna take you through what I'm able to do at the moment. I still do these same exercises, but if I was not injured, I would be upping the weight and doing them a lot heavier or slightly different, just to throw that out there. So there's so many videos that are like how to reduce your hip dips or hip dip exercises, get rid of your hip dips. I'm sorry to break it to you, but if your bone structure is not built a certain way. There's nothing you can do about it. And there's nothing wrong with hip dips. There's absolutely nothing wrong. And before we jump into this video, we do have ourselves a sponsor today. Thank you so much Factor for sponsoring today's video. You guys know if you've been following me how much I love Factor. You've seen it on this channel. You've seen it on my Instagram account because I've worked with them multiple times. And I hope to continue those partnerships in the future. Now, if you have not had our Factor, they are a meal prep delivery service. They deliver fresh, chef made ready meals right to your front door they provide tons of food options seafood meat veggie keto they have calorie smart they have tons of options that can fit your lifestyle all of the meals are pre-portioned and ready to go all you have to do is pop them in the microwave literally for like two minutes what i love most about factor is the convenience on top of the taste obviously i work from home so i do prep most of my meals but i tend to struggle with lunch having that meal ready to go for me is the convenience on top of factor having the ready-made meals they also have other things you can choose from they have desserts they have smoothies so i personally love the smoothies i use them as my pre-workout snack so i'll just grab one really quick before I head to the gym, especially if I don't want anything heavy on my stomach. It just gives me that little quick energy boost, those quick carbs. Puts a little something on my stomach before I go and lift. The factor of the menu is updated weekly, so you can go ahead and choose what meals you want, or they can craft your order based on your previous history. If you wanna get started with factor, make sure to click my link, which I'll list down below, so you can get $120 off five weeks of meals. And shout out to you guys who messaged me on Instagram. I've had tons of you who've ordered from them and told me you absolutely loved it. Them. definitely check it out if you have not I promise you their meals are absolutely amazing which is why I continue to work with them thank you again factor for sponsoring today's video and let's get right into this workout okay so starting off with this workout we have hip thrusts doing hip thrusts it hits your glutes but it also hits your quads so that's why I like to do hip thrusts on quads and glute day because I'm targeting both when you're doing hip thrusts if you feel it in your quads it's because you're kind of supposed to that if you want to target only your glutes I will show you in a later video and I'll show you an example of a cast glute bridge so I am a quad dominant person so anytime I'm doing quads and glutes I hit my glute exercise first to really burn out my glutes and get them really working before I hit quads you are the opposite if you are a glute dominant person but you want to build your legs I would switch these first two exercises hit squats first and then hip thrust but if you are a quad dominant hit your hip thrust first and then we'll follow it up with your squats which you will see next Next up, we have back squats. Um, so I cannot do regular squats right now. I usually like to get low, I like the depth, I like to get as deep as I possibly can. With my knee, box squats are the only type of squats that I can really do that don't bother me. I'm doing box squats at the moment, but feel free to do the same. You can do box squats as well, or you can do regular barbell squats. The thing is with box squats is that you don't want to really sit down. I see a lot of times when people just sit and then stand up. You kind of just want to touch and go. Get your butt down and right back up. Sitting down a little bit lower than I normally would. Otherwise with box squats, you just touch, stand on up. And with these, you can go pretty heavy. You can go pretty heavy with box squats compared to regular barbell squats.
moving it along, we have reverse lunges. I was doing these, I was mostly focusing on my quads. It's between hitting like glutes and hammies versus hitting your quads and stuff when it comes to lunges is the position of your top half is how much you're hinging. I insert a photo so you guys can see the difference between, let's say, Bulgarian sp split squats. If you're a more upright, it's gonna focus more on your quads. But as soon as you tilt over a little bit forward, hinge a little bit more at your hips, that's when you'll start to feel that stretch in your glutes and also your hamstring. I wanted to target more of my quads, so for the most part, I'm keeping my body up straight. The quad focus, reverse lunge. I'm also keeping the majority of the weight in my planted leg. So, although I lunge back when I stand up my foot is almost hovering like I don't really touch the floor when I come back up into the right position all the way on my front leg to push myself back up So I decided to superset the reverse lunges with a glute medius kickback. And so this is to target, the glute medius is a very difficult muscle to target. A couple exercises that really just specifically focus on that, but cable kickbacks are a great, great way of targeting that glute medius. I did want to show you the position that I'm set up in this video because the position matters. The way you turn your foot out, the way you kick back, all determines on what part of the glute you're targeting. Turn my foot out just slightly, and then I don't kick straight back. I kick back at a slight angle, and that's what really targets that glute medius. Also, when you're doing cable kickbacks, I see it often, you don't have to kick back super high. I feel like people think they have to kick back as far as they can or as high as they can to work the glutes. For tightening that muscle, you really don't have to bring your leg up that high. Like, that's really all I need to do to feel this right here. I'm sorry, I'm in like my little tiny office space, so I can only show so much. Lastly, on this quad glute day, we have leg extensions. So, leg extensions are just prime to building your quads, okay? To building the legs, and you can target different parts of your quad based on your foot placement. Keeping your feet straight, turning them out slightly, turning them in, will all target different parts of your quads. Single leg, there's just so many things you can do with quad extensions. Leg extensions should be prime and should be a main part of your quad workout. You can start your workout with that or finish it off. But I like to finish off after I've already worked my quad, after my muscles are already tired, I finish it off to burn my quads out even more. So that wraps up today's quick little quad and glute workout. Um, you know, I only pick about five exercises that I usually do. I'll make sure to include the full workout down below as well as all the information on Factor as well as my link. So make sure to check them out. Two days out of the week that I'm targeting glutes. So when I'm hitting the quad glute day, it is mostly, it is a quad focused workout with a little bit of glutes. That is the end of today's workout. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. And let me know if you like videos like this where I kind of break down what I'm doing. Um, I feel like a lot of stuff is kind of self-explanatory, but some people who are new don't really know what to do or maybe don't know why they're doing certain exercises. And I feel like sometimes it's, it's good to know the why. Wraps up today's video and I will see you guys in the next one.